everyone. It's my birthday. Yay. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to English Like a Native with me, the birthday girl, Anna English. I hope that you are all well and I am really excited to see you here at my birthday party. Of course, being a remote birthday party, it'll be a little odd because you're not actually here, but I'm glad that you're here with me in spirit. <laughs> so today I thought, as it's my birthday, it would be a good opportunity for me to share with you how we celebrate birthdays here in the UK, because I know it is very different in different countries and cultures as to how we celebrate. So I'm also really interested to hear about your experiences and how your country or your culture celebrates birthdays. And yeah, I hope that you all have a good time. So hello if you are joining me here in the chat room. Hi, loads of you saying hello. You like my dress? Thank you very much. Shall I give you a twirl? Shall I show you my dress? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. It's actually one of my favourite dresses and um, usually when it's your birthday you can wear your favourite outfit, whether it's a Spider-Man outfit or a pretty dress or your pyjamas. You can do whatever you want to on your birthday so you can wear anything you like. <laughs> what do you like to wear on your birthday? Something actually to, to note. If someone says to you, I'm going to wear my birthday suit, or are you going to wear your birthday suit? They mean naked. So take it as a joke. It's a joke. Your birthday suit is the suit you were born in. And lots of people say, will you wear your birthday suit? <laughs> Strongwit, thank you so much. Bless you. You have kicked off the super chats by saying happy birthday and donating five euros. Thank you. That's very generous of you. That's very, very kind indeed. Thank you so much. So, um, yes, birthday suits. What kind of thing do you like to wear on your birthday? Hmm? Um, as you are responding in the comments, I will, I will get started and teach you a little bit about birthdays in the UK. So we have here um, one birthday a year. So we all celebrate the anniversary of our birth once a year, except for the Queen who has two birthdays. So some of you may or may not already have heard this, but the Queen celebrates two birthdays every year. Her actual birthday, which I'm not quite sure when it is, I think it's around March time. I should know that, shouldn't I? And then she has a birthday around um, early summer, like around the June time, but it does change every year. And let's have a look at the reason, shall we? So this was a tradition started by Edward VII, who feared that the weather would be inclement. This means changeable or not very pleasant. So it might be cold or wet or there might be thunder and lightning. So he feared that his birthday would have, there would be inclement weather to celebrate his birthday, which was in November. So he wanted a nice, sunny, warm day so everyone could celebrate his birthday and be happy and relaxed outdoors. And so he decided to introduce a second birthday, <laughs> which was in the summertime, which suited him. So he had the two birthdays and some of the royal family along the, along the way have continued that tradition. It's all right for some, isn't it? Oh, wow, goodness me, Strongwit, you are being so kind. You sent another two, um, another two super chats. Thank you so much, that's very sweet of you. Um, okay, so lots of you being very sweet in the in the comments box or sending me good wishes. That's very kind of you. Um, Didrick says he likes to wear a nice shirt, nice trousers, and maybe a tie on his birthday. Yes, dress up smart, lovely. Um, Caddy has said, hello Anna, it's nice to see you. Very happy birthday. Your dress is beautiful. Thank you, Caddy. Um, I love your red dresses. They They match you well. What you should say is they suit you well. Thank you very much. Right, so I'm gonna jump over to my patrons now who are over in the patron Skype room. And um, what's going on over here? Hello, Jay, hi, how are you? Happy birthday in advance, wishing you all the best. Thank you, Jay. Eureka, Anna's channel was mentioned in this video. Oh, well, I'll have to look at that. Mm, the best English teacher, that's very kind of whoever that is. I don't know that, that gentleman. 
I will check him out. Thank you. And Jay says it's an absolutely beautiful dress. Thank you very much. All right, so we've learned about birthday suits. Uh, we know that the birthday girl or boy can wear whatever they like on their birthday. That is their prerogative. You should know this word. It's your prerogative. It means you can, it's your choice to do what you like. Um, and we know that the queen has two birthdays and we now know why. So let's carry on, have a look at some other things. We will usually mark the occasion on our actual birthday or on the closest convenient day. So if you are not the queen, we'll normally actually celebrate on our day of birth, the anniversary of our birthday, or we will celebrate on the most convenient day. So for example, if your birthday falls on Wednesday, like mine, it's not convenient for everyone to come out and have a good time because of work. So I might instead decide to have a party on Friday, even though my birthday is today, I would celebrate on Friday because that's convenient. And, um, and so yeah, that's what we normally do. Julia, bless you, thank you. Julia and Strongwit, both of you, very, very sweet, these donations. And you said, um, this is so funny, you're the best. <laughs> thank you, Julia, that's very sweet of you. Okay, so um, today, like any other day, if you do send a super chat, then you are entitled to the notes. The notes I've made are shorter than normal, but you can choose any notes from any previous lesson that you'd like. So guys, just let me know. Okay, so let's carry on with these notes. So normally we would celebrate with some form of party and particularly for children, but also sometimes as adults, if it's a big birthday, like your 40th or your 60th. And so most children are, or, and some adults throw or have a party. So there's a difference. You throw a party if you organize the party. So if you are my best friend and I say to you, I'm not gonna do anything for my birthday. And you say secretly, she's gonna have a party. I'm going to make sure there is a party organized for Anna. Then you have thrown me a party. So you throw the party for me and I have a party. So you have a party, but the person who organizes it throws the party. Does that make sense? To have a party or to throw a party. Slightly different. Cool. So have you ever thrown a party for somebody else? I have once and it was very stressful, <laughs> very stressful indeed. Um, Eureka, bless you, thank you so much. You've sent a super chat and you said, happy birthday, Anna. Thank you for always answering my questions and helping me. Eureka, you are most welcome. And thank you so much for coming to my party. Yay. Um, right, back to the notes. So when you decide you're going to have a party or when someone throws a party for you, invitations will be sent or given out. Guests are asked to RSVP. Now you might see these letters a lot, particularly on wedding invitations or in emails. Um, perhaps if you want to go to a restaurant even and you want to reserve a table. This is basically an abbreviation of the French words um, Reserve, s'il vous plaît, I think. <laughs> if anyone is French here, then, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think it's reserve, s'il vous plaît, which is reserve, please. So please let us know that you're coming to the party or please let us know if you would like to hold a table. Um, okay, so um, Sky has said, my birthday is next week on Wednesday. Well, happy birthday for you next week on Wednesday. I have a little secret, actually. Today is not my actual birthday. <gasps> my actual birthday is also next week, Wednesday. And the reason I'm having my birthday party today is because next week I will be on holiday in Italy. And so I won't be able to hang out with you guys on my actual birthday. So I am holding my party on the most convenient day for all of us. So Sky, we share a birthday. Amazing. Okie dokie. What else is going on? Lots of you responding to me. Reserve, re, responde, responde s'il vous plaît is the actual French. So I was slightly wrong there. Thank you for correcting me. Responde s'il vous plaît. So please reply to this invitation. That means. 
So you must reply to your invitation. Normally at school, you'll just go around the class and give everyone an invitation, which is quite awkward at school because you just want to invite your friends and there's always someone in your class that you don't want to invite to your party. But because you're handing invitations out to most of the people, you have to hand an invitation to everybody. And you can guarantee the people you don't like will come to your party. And the people you really want to come, they never come. <laughs> and so I used to hate when I had parties and I had to go to school with the invitations because it was always awkward. Um, nowadays, I can just invite who I like. I just invite them on Facebook instead. Oh, bless. Um, Eric or Swavek, thank you so much. That's very sweet. You've also dropped a super chat and said, happy birthday, dear Anna. May your big day be as special as you are. Bless you, thank you. You are the best teacher ever. Hugs and kisses. You guys, you're making me blush. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's very, very sweet. Okay. Um, so back to the notes. So we give out these invitations or post them out and guests have to RSVP to those invites. And a party could be held at your home. I mean, if it's a party for very young children, you might not want 30 terrible five-year-olds running around and making a mess and screaming and going crazy for sweets and cake. Um, but maybe you like that kind of thing. <laughs> but some people have their parties in their home or if they can't stand the noise and the mess, instead they will take out the children or the adults will go to a restaurant. That could even be um, a fast food restaurant. I've seen many parties held in places like McDonald's. Um, it could be in a theme park. Uh, it could be at the zoo or anywhere like that. Somewhere where people can have a good time. Thank you, Dennis. I've just seen that you too have sent through a super chat at 12, uh, 12 euros. Thank you very much. That's very sweet of you. You said, happy birthday, Anna. You are the best. Mwah. You guys are the best. Thank you. Okie dokie. So where was the best location you ever had a party? I think as a child, most of my birthday parties were at home because it was easier that way for my for my family so we had most of our parties at home but they were excellent parties and I think I once had we hired a town hall so we hired out a hall and we had a magician and a disco and we had lots of food and and, and sweets and stuff and I think that was that was a quite a good one uh I don't really celebrate in terms of a big party as, as an adult I haven't really I'm usually too busy, but not today. <laughs> I'm with you. Okay, so we um, hold the party. Now, if you hold it in the house, the house will be decorated with bunting. If you don't know what bunting is, let me show you. I have some bunting up behind me here, you see? That is called bunting. It's kind of like decoration that you hang. Slightly different to a banner. A banner you hang, but it's just a long strip. A banner is just a long strip, whereas these kind of cut out triangles are called bunting. So you decorate the house with bunting and banners, maybe with some balloons. Sometimes you have the balloons with helium so that they float up high. And sometimes we have confetti, you know, the kind of bits of paper or rice and you throw them. You get them in all sorts of different colours and shapes these days. You can have little birthday cakes and candles and presents in the confetti and they're glittery and you just throw them around. <laughs> um, and we also have poppers. Now these are very noisy. I'm going to go and pop one over here. You ready? <coughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, always fun. Obviously you don't want to do it in, near someone's face because that could be um, that could be quite dangerous. So there we go, a little bit of a popper there. Um, <laughs> then, um, oh, also, we ask the guests to dress up. So you would normally dress up smart if there is no theme particularly. So you would just dress up in something, you know, like a shirt and tie or a nice dress or whatever you feel comfortable in. But children normally have a theme to their birthday party. So it might be superheroes or princesses or Disney or something like that. And, um, and then all the guests will dress up in their fancy dress. So they would be wearing fancy dress. 
okay? And this means to dress up as a character. And then they will arrive and they will normally bring a gift and a card. So a card giving, I think, I think originated in England, actually. I, I know the story of the guy who first sent the first card. Or oh, I did know it. I've forgotten it right now. Um, but it was about a hundred years ago. And um, card giving has become quite a big thing in the UK. Um, if, if I didn't receive any cards on my birthday, I would be very sad. And this year, so far, even though my birthday is actually next week, I've received three cards. I'll show you. So I've received this one from my grandma. It was a very, very sweet card. And she says, Granddaughter, you're the star of some magical memories, but as a little girl who twirled around my garden, you have twirled your way through all the ups and downs in your own life, and you keep on going. Sparkling all the way. Um, sparkling moments from the start. Brilliant times. The starring part, one year older. Same sweetheart. We love you so much. Isn't that sweet? Actually, actually made me cry when I when I opened that one. My grandma, bless her soul, is not very well at all. Um, she's she's battling cancer and being very strong, and so it was lovely to receive a card from her. Um, and then this one I got from my mum. Uh, it says, "If people could pick their daughters, um, each and every one would pick a daughter just like you." Isn't that nice? Isn't that sweet? So that was very nice. I must phone my mum and thank her for that one. And I got this one um, from my boyfriend's mum and dad, which was also very nice, very kind of them. Ta-da! And these are exactly like the wellies I have. <laughs> Brilliant. So yes, card giving is very important, not only for birthdays, but for most celebrations like um, Christmas, like you've passed your exams, you've passed your driving test. Um, we even have cards on happy teacher day, happy grandparents day, all, all sorts of things. We just love giving cards and sharing our, our thoughts and our feelings with the people that we love and care about. So if you're going to a party, if you've been invited to a party and you're going over, you should always take a card. It's polite to take a card. And if you love someone very much or you have a very, very dear friend and you can't go to their party, it's custom over here to send one in the post. Um, not everybody does, but it's, if you really care for someone, then it's a nice thing to do. Harrison said, what does wellies mean? Wellies are Wellington boots. These kinds of boots that you send in the rain. Okay. Oh, Eureka, bless you. You sent another super chat. Thank you so much. You said, we will soon reach 100,000 subs, Anna. Yes, we will. Thank you. Um, can we have another party then? Sure. Why not? Let's have another party. And I'm going to drink from my special little party cup. Ta-da! Okay, so, um, so cards and gifts. Now, gifts should be wrapped up in wrapping paper, or sometimes we put them in bags. Um, so I, I keep some bags. So this is a bag that you would put a bottle of wine in, perhaps. Um, and we can decorate them with bows and um, like this, and all sorts of pretty things. Um, I have had one present so far, and I put it here so you can see. My mum, my mum bought me a lovely necklace, and, um, or she might have made it actually, it looks homemade, and got me some pyjamas. I tend to get pyjamas off my mum. Isn't that nice? Cozy. Cozy. And it has, uh, some matching, some matching bottoms as well. Pyjama bottoms, we call them. Pajama bottoms, the bottom of a set of pajamas. All right, let's head back over to the notes. So where are they? Ah, I've lost them. Oh, I closed them, that's why. Here we go. So gifts, as I said, gifts are normally wrapped or in a gift bag. Card giving is very popular here. If you cannot attend the celebrations, then you would normally post a card in advance of a loved one or close one's close friend's birthday. Now let's talk about food, the most important part. There will normally be a meal or a buffet. So if it's a big party with lots of people coming and you don't know exactly when they'll arrive, normally we'll have a buffet. A buffet is when you can just pick at food. So it'll be things like a typical buffet for a birthday party will be things like 
cheese on a stick with a pickled onion. So a pickled onion and a, a cube of cheese you'll have on a cocktail stick. Really nice. Um, pickled onions in general, just on their own. <laughs> we seem to obsess about pickled onions, it's strange. Um, sandwiches of all sorts of flavours. So you'll have cheese sandwiches, ham sandwiches, chicken sandwiches, um, uh, ham and cheese sandwiches, um, jam sandwiches. Uh, you might have peanut butter and jam, although it's more American, but we are getting into it over here more and more. And then you'll have sweets and um, in a lot of parties these days, we have things like hummus and carrot sticks and um, cucumber batten. So we cut the cucumber into sticks so we can dip that into, um, into hummus as well. And we might have other dips like sour cream and chive, guacamole, and then you'll also have lots of crisps. We have to have crisps. Remember um, the difference between American crisps and... Is there a difference? So for us, Americans call our crisps chips, but it's just the snack, the little potato crunchy snack that you eat cold, crisps. And you'll have all sorts of different flavors as well. And we have cocktail sausages, which are the tiny little sausages you can pick up with a cocktail stick. So I normally have those. And we might have volavants, which are little pastries with tasty things inside. So that's what you'd find on a typical British birthday buffet. <laughs> and then, um, of course, there has to be cake. You can't have a birthday without having a birthday cake. Now, I have a story to tell you. Sometimes our birthday cakes are immense. Sometimes we go... Into, we go to town when it comes to our birthday cakes and one year my birthday cake was a skull so someone made this for me it was a skull with jelly snakes coming out of the mouth and through the eyes and out of the head and then if you lit the candle which was in the head it would burn down and the eyes lit up and smoke came out of the mouth it was amazing and the reason I had um, a, a a skull birthday cake was because that year I had a kind of Halloween themed birthday party and everyone came as zombies, I dressed as a, as a witch, uh, I had curly hair then, I had a perm and so what was the most elaborate birthday cake you've ever had? This year one of my lovely patrons has donated my birthday cake um, messaged me this morning and said please go and get yourself a birthday cake, I want you to have a birthday cake on me and so I did go and get a birthday cake, which I'll bring over in just a moment. Um, and all of these, all of these items, the cake and the meal will be served on themed paper plates and paper cups. Now there'll be things like, at the moment it'll be Disney Frozen or Spider-Man plates, or it could just be general party cups like this. Just little paper cups and plates that you can throw away at the end of the day and not worry about anyone breaking your precious china. Oh, lovely. Um, okay, one of my patrons saying, Happy birthday, says Eric. I wish you well and hope all your birthday wishes come true. Thank you, Eric. Sweet. Um, hi, Anna. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Layla. Andreas. Hi, Layla. Wow. <laughs> Great, okay, so um, with regards to cake, if you are working in an office, in the workplace, it's typical for someone else to buy the cake and surprise the birthday girl or birthday boy, okay? So you, I know in some other countries, it's, it's typical for you to take the cake in yourself. If it's your birthday, you have to bring the cake. Um, is that the same in your country? But in our country, it's different. I, I would generally not buy myself a birthday cake. Someone else will normally buy it for me. So at home, my boyfriend would normally buy me a birthday cake or um, my mum would sort out a birthday cake, make a birthday cake even. And if I was working in an office, in my old office, they would have made or bought a birthday cake in secretly. And at some point, they'd get everyone together and they'd turn out the lights and they'd come in with a birthday cake and sing happy birthday. Um, so, shall we, shall we, shall we do the cake? So, um, the cake, whether it's elaborate or not, should always have a candle. And what we do is the candles are lit and everyone sings happy birthday. 
um, our version of this song is different to some countries. So what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to light the candle. I've only put one on. Normally, when they're younger, we put as many candles as the child has years. So if they're three years old, we put three candles on the cake. If they're ten, we put ten candles on the cake. But then as we become older, <laughs> we don't want people to know how old we are anymore. So we don't want to see all those candles on the cake. Um, so we tend to just have one, <laughs> which is much easier. Um, is there any special age when you make a when you have a huge party? For example, um, if most fifteen-year-old Mexican girls um, have a Cinderella party, um, we have a big celebration normally when we are sixteen, eighteen, twenty-one, and then forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. I think so. Yeah. Kind of around the middle, it doesn't really matter so much <laughs> when you're like 30, 35, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, I think it's cake time. So I'm gluten free at the moment, I'm, I'm on a special diet, but I managed to find a special gluten free cake. Da -da -da -da. So most birthday cakes will be made up of sponge. We call it sponge, which is the light, the light cake. It's quite, it's got quite airy inside. It's not too heavy. It's quite light. And then we have a layer of like icing or jam or buttercream, depending on the type of cake or chocolate, some something or other. This particular cake is called a Victoria sponge. A Victoria sponge. It's a very traditional cake here in the UK for things like birthdays and celebrations. Um, mine said, this candle says happy birthday. So I'm going to light the ca I'm going to light the candle. Then we have to sing happy birthday. And then I will blow out the candle at the end of the song. And what happens then is when you blow out the candle, you have to make a wish. Now I'm going to wish for something very special. But I'm not allowed to tell you. This is our tradition. If I tell you the wish, it won't come true. Okay. Now let's hope. <laughs> Please wish that I don't set the house on fire. Will be the first thing. Whoop. Ah, here we go. Okay. Ta da. <sighs> set the fire alarms off either. Okay. So we sing happy birthday. And, uh, and then I blow out the candle and I make a wish and I'm going to put on some music to sing to. Hopefully you'll sing along with me. Right, are we ready? Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Anna. Then what we would normally do is shout hip hip and someone else would go hooray, hip hip, hooray, hip hip, hooray. And sometimes we also add on to the end of the song, happy birthday da da da, happy birthday to you and many more. I don't know why that happens, it's just sometimes we add on and many more because we want them to have many more happy birthdays and sometimes they go into singing for she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow and so say all of us and so say all of us and so say all of us for she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. Way. <laughs> oh, yes. So I hope you were singing along with me there. <laughs> Great. So thank you very much. You've wished me a happy birthday. We've sung happy birthday. I've blown out the candle and made my wish. We've sang all the extra little bits that go on. And now what happens is the birthday girl would normally cut the cake. The birthday girl, the birthday boy would cut the cake. Um, unless they're very young, of course, you don't want children playing with knives. Very dangerous. <laughs> oh, bless. Another super chat has come through from GZD 
Zedible. I never know how to pronounce your name. You're very sweet though. You've you've sent messages and chats before. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm now going to just remove this and put that down for another time. And I'm going to cut the cake with a fork because I left the knife in the kitchen. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut in like this. Who'd like a piece of cake? Just put your hand up if you want a piece of cake. Oh, okay, you do. It's a gluten-free cake, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Um, <laughs> Yi Heo Feng says, Happy birthday, Anna is sent across the super chat. Thank you so much, that's very sweet. Just so you know, all my birthday super chats are going towards the thing I care about most, which is you guys. Um, I, I want all of the donations to go towards making this channel better so that I can bring you really, really great content on a regular basis. So thank you for you guys being so kind. And now I'm going to put my slice of cake on my little plate and I'm going to eat it and you guys can take your cake. Now, what would normally happen is either the children would eat or the adults would eat their cake there and then, but sometimes they would have already eaten a lot by the time we've done the birthday cake. So they might not want to eat the cake right then and there. So if it's a children's party, there'll normally be a goodie bag. And a goodie bag is just a bag of like little, little toys, a couple of sweets and maybe a, a bottle of glitter or some, you know, little trinkets. And then they will wrap up a piece of cake like this in a napkin and put it in the bag and you can take it home and enjoy it later. And that's quite typical. Um, just trying to see your, um, okay, Jan wants a piece. Yes, Jan, come and get yourself a piece. <laughs> um, yeah, shall I give it a try? It's quite late for some of you and some of you have to go. Thank you so much for joining me. If you do have to leave, that's fine. Once you've sung happy birthday to the birthday girl and it's okay to leave. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Very, very nice indeed. Yum. I'll eat the rest of that in a little while. So, oh goodness me, another super chat has come through. Thank you, darling. That's very sweet. That's your second one. Bless you. Thank you. And that, is that, is that dollars? Is that $51? Goodness me. Thank you so much. That is very generous. Very generous indeed, thank you. Um, okay, so uh, we've done the candles, we've done the song, which I know is different in some countries because I've been in some restaurants here. I think it's in India, it's different. Um, you do something with clapping and you change the tune slightly, I think. You do, um, happy birthday to you or something. I can't remember quite. I wish I could speak to someone who was Indian right now and they could tell me how it goes, but I, I feel like it's different. Anyway, let's carry on. So we've done the singing, the, um, we make a wish, we wrap the cake up, send it home in the goodie bags. Ah, then the no party is complete without party games. And these are the most typical party games that you would have at a children's party in the UK. So musical chairs, musical bumps and musical statues, of course, all involve music. The first one, musical chairs, is a game where Say you have 10 children, you put out nine chairs and you put them in, in a line. So five facing one way and four facing the other way. And the children walk around the chairs in a circle and then the music is playing. And when the music stops, they suddenly have to sit down. But because there's only, only nine chairs, one child will not get a chair. And if that child doesn't get a chair, they're out. And then the music starts again and they remove another chair. And until there is only two children walking around and one chair. And then whoever gets that last chair is the winner of the game. And usually we get some sort of prize, maybe some bubbles or something like that, a glow stick or something. Um, and then we have musical bumps. I don't know if you've heard of this, but musical bumps is very similar, but it means that when the music stops, the children have to sit down and the last person to sit on the floor is out. Um, and then we have musical statues, which is when the music when the music stops, the children have to stop really still and not move, even if the person judging is whispering silly things in their ears or making silly faces in front of them. If they can't smile or flinch in any way, or oh, they'll be out. 
And I always find that one fun. I was very good at musical statues, actually. So we have those three. And then we also have my favorite game, Pass the Parcel, which is where a present has been wrapped up maybe 12 times. So one wrapping, two wrapping, three, four, until it's been wrapped up loads and loads. And then we all sit in a circle and we pass it along. And the music's playing. And when the music stops, whoever's got the parcel has to take off another layer of wrapping. Now, sometimes there will be little gifts in between the layers. So you might unwrap it and not still have the present, but there'll be a little bag of sweets or something, which is always a nice little surprise. And then the whoever gets it last will unwrap it and they get the present. <laughs> it's always quite a, a furious game. You're like, ha, ha, give it to me, give it to me. And you don't want to let it go ever. So pass the parcel. And then we have a fun game, pin the tail on the donkey. Pin the tail on the donkey. This is where you have a picture of a donkey's behind, a donkey's backside. And some child will have a tail with a pin and they are normally blindfolded spun around a few times to make them disorientated and then they have to try and pin the tail in the right place and it's normally way off it's very very funny to watch <laughs> i think it's similar to when you have a what's it called a pin a pinata when you have the horse hanging with there's lots of sweets inside the horse and you have to hit it with a stick is that called a pinata panata pin someone tell me in the comments i'm sure you'll correct me in a minute um, but it's kind of similar to that. It's just at the end you actually get some sweets if you can uh, burst the thing open. And I have started to see those in supermarkets in the party section. So it's definitely something that we're doing here in the UK now as well. Not when I was younger, but um, they do now. Um, so the next one on the list is Simon Says. Simon Says. Now, this is a fun game. Someone's in charge and everyone has to listen and they have to follow instructions. So the instructions will normally start with Simon says, stand on one leg. Simon says, put your hands on your head. Simon says, put your hands down. If any instructions come without um, Simon says at the beginning, then you mustn't do it. So if I go, Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your ear. Simon says, touch your eyebrow, touch your nose. If I touched my nose then, I'd be out because Simon didn't say. <laughs> it's very fun. Oh, Eureka, bless you. Just sent another super chat. That's three gifts from you, Eureka. Thank you so much. You said, hope you got your new passport. Enjoy in Italy and take care. I'm so jelly. Um, don't be jelly, darling. I will take lots of pictures and hopefully some videos so that you are there with me in some respect. And yes, I got my passport. Thank you so much. So my boyfriend's gift to me this year is to take me to Italy for my birthday. And um, it's very, very sweet. And I'm very excited about going. So, so yes, although I nearly didn't get my passport, which is why Eureka was asking about my passport. But yes, I got it. Thankfully, thankfully I got it. Um, all right, so the next one is sleeping lions. Always good to calm the children down at the end of a session, at the end of a party. Sleeping lions, you ask all the children to lie down on the floor and pretend that they are sleeping. They are sleeping lions and if they move or flinch, then they're out. <laughs> so you basically just get the children to lie down on the floor, be very, very quiet and they generally do. It's a really great way if you're a teacher or a, a parent it's a really great way to get the children to be quiet and to calm down, to get them to get rid of all that extra energy and just be calm. <laughs> yeah. So sleeping lions, nice and easy. Now adults, of course, still want to have fun, but they won't necessarily have um, a, a party like that with games like that. But sometimes adults will do activities like paintballing or they will... Um, they will, I don't know, go to something called like Go Ape. Have you heard of Go Ape? We have them in the UK, which are outdoor fun activity places where you have rope ladders going up into the trees and you can walk across ropes from tree to tree or you can swing on rope swings or you can balance or do zip wires. Um, so it's all up in the, in the trees. You're hooked on, of course, so it's always safe. 
but that's go ape or uh, you could go to like um a trampoline place and go jumping around <laughs> um so yeah adults do fun stuff too you just have to find the um the right date that's suitable for everyone in your party to go okay so that kind of brings me to the end of everything i was going to teach you about if you have any questions now is the time to ask but what i'd like to know from you guys is what was the favorite birthday present of yours what was your favorite ever present that you ever received in your life and have you ever had any themed parties that you really enjoyed like my halloween party which was good fun and are birthdays celebrated in a completely different way in your country? So if you can answer any of those questions, I'd love to know. And I will shout out those ones that I see going by. Let's have a quick look at what the patrons are saying. Um, it's about 1am in Taiwan. I use my mobile phone to watch the live lesson, so I have to switch to Skype back and forth. Oh, bless you, Layla. I'm sorry about that. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Um, your birthday party is the most amazing <laughs> that I saw. Um, so you'd say your birthday party is the most amazing party that I ever saw. That I ever saw. Um, Strongwit says more than 200 viewers. Did we have more than 200 at one point? It's dropped down to 188 now, but wow, that's amazing. And thank you for your super chat. That's very sweet. Okay, so... Obviously, you guys have been really cool and you've attended my birthday party. Now, I have a request. Um, I did make my birthday wish and I can't share that with you because otherwise it won't come true. Um, but I, I want to request something from you for my birthday, if that's okay. I want more than anything to help you guys. That's, that's the reason that I'm here, is to help you to improve your English. Now, I know sometimes it can be a drag. It can be hard to study when you're studying from home. And so I'm always saying to my students, repeat, repeat and review your work. That's the only way to really get that work into the back of your head. But reviewing videos and, and lessons that you've already worked on can be boring. So I want to take a little bit of a forceful step with you. I'm going to be your teacher again for a moment and I want you to do me a birthday favour. I would like for you after this party or at some point very soon, for you to go and make a playlist on your YouTube channel. You all have YouTube channels because you're able to comment on this video. So I want you to make a playlist. You can call it whatever you like, um, my, my English learning or my favorite English teacher or um, my, my review playlist or my lesson, my favorite lessons playlist. And then I want you to choose at least three of the lessons which you felt you didn't know very well. So three of the lessons where there was a lot of vocabulary or when you came away afterwards, you didn't feel like you thoroughly had it in your head. Three lessons that you didn't really understand in that playlist from my channel and or from any other channel. And then I want you to put your favorite lesson also in there. So three that you didn't quite get that you know there was vocabulary you forgot. And then one that you really loved in that playlist. And then I want you to come back to this video and I want you to comment and share the link to your playlist. And I'm going to do you this favor. If you share the link to your playlist with me on this video, I will then go to your channel. I'll subscribe to you. I'll like your playlist and give it a thumbs up. Okay. And then of course, I don't want you to just leave the playlist there doing nothing. I want you to actually at some point play that playlist. Ideally once a week for a month and then once every month for the rest of the year, okay, for the next 12 months so that it really sticks. And I promise you that way you are going to start to really cement those um, words, phrases, rules into your head. And also if you can, add to it. Take stuff out. If you think you've really got it, take it out, put more stuff in. But let's start getting into good habits. So one last time, make a playlist call it something like my English lessons or my English review list, add three videos which you didn't quite get into there and one of your favorite videos into there. Then share the link with me on this video. I'll come back from Italy and I'll want to see lots of links commented in. It'll probably go to step spam, but I'll, I'll bring it back out. And then I'll come to you and I'll subscribe to you. If you do this, I'll subscribe to you and I'll give your videos a thumb up, okay?
So do that for me, please. And um, hopefully it will then help you to get better at English. Do we have a deal? Yeah, bum. Fist bump. That's a fist bump. That's what you call it, a fist bump. Brilliant. Okay, so now it's time for me to answer your questions. So, um, lots of comments come through. Uh, what have we got? Um, we'll get money on the birthday. We normally get money on our birthday in Chi um, usually Chinese. I'm sorry, Sky, I don't understand this. We'll get money on the birthday. Usually Chinese in Malaysia do. So I think you mean on your birthday in China, Malaysia, you get money, you receive money. Sometimes we put money into a card. So if we don't know what to get someone or if we're not coming to the party and we can't bring a present, we will put a five pound note, a 10 pound note, sometimes 50 pounds into a card and give it so they can buy something nice for themselves. Um, go to the Golden Mile at Blackpool. Yeah, the Golden Mile is fun. I was actually born not very far from Blackpool, so I've been a couple of times. Uh, I got a DJ set when I turned 25 and it was the coolest present ever. That sounds really cool, actually. My favorite present that I ever got was a karaoke machine. And it was something I never expected. I'd never thought about having a karaoke machine and it was the best thing. I used it every day for years and it got me into singing. And as most of you will know, I love singing. Um, I didn't mention that a lot of our cards will include some form of badge that we are then expected to wear for our entire birthday. <laughs> And usually it'll be quite an embarrassing badge, maybe a massive one like this. And it'll say something like something, oh, I can't even think, but it'll say something embarrassing or silly. Um, I just got a normal birthday girl one. Um, Hi, Anna says, Amal, I'm Indian and we clap while singing happy birthday to you. And then follow it up by singing, may God bless you, dear, in the same tune. Ah, cool. Thank you for letting me know. Um, hello Anna, I travel to London on my next holidays, I would love to meet you, is it possible? Well, I hope you have an amazing time here in London, um, it, it really is very difficult for me to make time for anybody, even myself, I literally work from like 7 in the morning till 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night sometimes, and last night I was working till gone 11 o'clock, um, but you know, you never know, and if anyone ever bumps into me in the street, if you ever see me, do come over and say hello. I don't bite. Um, a training room and machines were the best present I ever got. Awesome, Matan. Uh, my best present, says Natasha, was a visit to Nuschenwarstein Castle. I probably mispronounced that. In Germany, the castle of my dreams. Lovely. Anastasia says, where in Italy are you going? I could suggest you a very special place called Salento. Please take a look. I'm going to um, the Dolomites to climb some mountains and I'm going to visit Lake Garda and I might go into Verona for a day. But I'll look at um, Salento, definitely. Um, remind me again, oh no, hang on, that wasn't to me. We celebrate everyone's birthday in our close family so we have every month a birthday party but in October uh, we only have three. Wow, so that's a lot of cards, a lot of presents, and a lot of birthday cake for you. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm terribly sorry, but I have to go because I'm teaching a private student in four minutes' time. <laughs> I've just realised. So I do have to say goodbye, wrap up, and get on to my private student and eat my cake quickly before I start that lesson. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new here, then please do press subscribe and the bell notification button and um, make sure you have a look at some of my older videos so you can catch up. Don't forget guys to fulfill my birthday wish and create a playlist and let me know what the playlist link is and I'll come and subscribe to your channel. Otherwise, have an amazing day. I will be live at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning with the next vidcast. I hope you'll join me. Until next time, take care. Thank you for coming to my birthday. And thank you to all those people who donated to Super Chats. You are so generous. Lots of love from London. Happy birthday. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye.